we came down here on Maxwell Street, and then right over there where that the stands over there across the front of the restaurant, he used to be upstairs building over there. And we used to pay like five dollars to the guy, and he'd take the extension cord and put it out the window for you. Enjoyed the Maxwell Street scene. Playing there for money wasn't for him. Muddy claimed that he only played on the street to promote his records, a practice called busking, and often prohibited his band members from performing on Maxwell Street. Muddy Waters, he wouldn't uh, play down here because he said that, uh, you know, he was too proud to do this thing, you know. And I said, well, you be proud, but not me. I just come down here and play and buy things that I needed to have, you know, because Union Skills were but $12.50. And say, I'm knocking down so much, it was pathetic, you know. Sometimes we come out here and make four and five hundred dollars. The guild of me and Walter and Jimmy Rogers and people like that, you know. But money, he wouldn't do it, so it was great to me. Though many. But he said that there had been a, a very lively blue scene here as far back as he could remember. He had, and he had been here since World War One. He, he felt it had preceded World War One by maybe 20 years or so. People who think the blues suddenly happened in 1910 or 1920, I think, are very wrong about that. By the 30s, the blues at Maxwell Street was approaching its golden era. The streets were a training ground for young musicians, as well as the place to get discovered. Maxwell Street was the center for blues talent anywhere. There's so many musicians that uh, used to make a living down here playing on the streets, you know what I mean? I mean, they was making more money down here. Collecting up, putting the hat down and putting it in there, you had to watch the hat to have somebody to watch it with you. <laughs> so nobody would come home and grab it and run away with it. And everybody, a lot of musicians made a whole made their life down here, you know man. In the 40s and 50s, huge crowds infiltrated the area, and musicians lined up on both sides of the street. Maxwell Street is the backbone of a lot of music that you hear because people learn on Maxwell Street. They went to school, they schooled themselves. I was there. 